I want to welcome my guest for this hour, celebrity civil litigator John Phillips. Not just a celebrity civil litigator, but John, I'm very familiar with you because you represent Joe Exotic, Tiger King. You're his lawyer. So it's great to have you on. Thank you for your time today. What a perfect guest because I have to start with this. What do you first or immediately think of when you hear about a celebrity like a Gwyneth Paltrow involved in a civil case that is going to court, going to be seen by the public? Wow. You know, we've, we've tried those and we've actually been on the other side bringing uh, cases against a celebrity and they're very difficult, right? You, you don't just have an insurance company that's making decisions. You've got a full team that's that's wanting to be heard and managing PR and and makeup and and it's this whole large thing that that you're seeing play out the last couple of weeks and it's been it's been intoxicating. I civil litigation is my first love, and it's you know this kind of case is 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 just fascinating to watch it really is fascinating to watch but i want to play off what you just said because a lot of viewers are accustomed to we're going to be watching criminal trials why are we watching a civil trial well i watch them because guess what anybody can be sued theoretically for anything civil is what can happen to any one of us whether we break a law or not someone might sue into me for running to into them on a ski slope allegedly so when you talk about this being intoxicating in your first love and the caliber of your client Tell, tell us what makes civil trials important to you or interesting to you. You know, we say justice is spelled one way, but it's defined many different ways. So you have criminal defense, right? Super important, fascinating to watch. Uh, everything's at stake. It's, it's whether somebody's going to spend their life in jail or worse. And, and then you have these, these lawsuits that people want to think about as money, but, but they're really they're really the massive part of of courts right this is this is this takes up a lot of court resources and safety rules and and responsibility uh, tend to tend to stem off from them and then you have the good old fashioned court of public opinion and sometimes like in Joe Exotic's case you got a little bit of all three uh, we're about to file a lawsuit a civil lawsuit related to 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 Joe Exotic's case um, because you know you have cases where where people commonly think of OJ where you have you know a criminal case and then a wrongful death case and they they blend together but it's there's just and again it's my bias right it's what I've done most of my 20 years it's you know seeing seeing people fight over facts like this um you know, I think it's I think it's why your ratings are probably going up the last couple of weeks is, you know, celebrities draw so much attention and and fight over facts like this. These accounts by these two individuals are so polar opposite of what happened. Now we have these other witnesses coming in and saying, I didn't see this or I saw this. This is what happened. But at the end of the day, if you take away all of the other witnesses, and I'm going to play you a little bit in a minute, but if you take away all the other witnesses, do you have any opinion, John, about if a celebrity is more likely to be believed by a jury? It depends on the celebrity, right? Uh, it, it depends on their their character and nature and what their overall reputation is. Now, Gwyneth Paltrow has a fantastic one. And so I, I do believe jurors are, are going to start off giving her a benefit of the doubt that they're going to be instructed not to give her. There are other celebrities that we've represented or gone after that are notorious, right? And, and you're you're looking at at them and say, well, I don't, I, I don't like this person. I represented Omarosa versus Trump, right? So in, in that case, we had two individuals that that we didn't have to go in front of a jury, thankfully, but you had two people that that everybody was a bit skeptical about, and and so when you're managing these personalities and the truthfulness of them. Certainly, it's better to have, have somebody with a reputation akin to Gwyneth Paltrow than Donald Trump. Right, an award-winning Gwyneth Paltrow. And someday I'm going to get to bend your ear, I hope, about Omarosa versus Trump because I'm fascinated. But I'll try to put that aside.